Well, as we're getting colder, you may be noticing that your native perennials are looking past their prime. <laughs> But here on Sunday Gardener this morning, I'm with Terry Engel at Valley View Farms, and you're encouraging people to maybe hang on to these a little longer, even if they're looking a little rough, because... Because this is a great great way to provide sort of a way station for pollinators as they're migrating. So whether they're migrating south or west or whatever. Uh, I was in Maine two years ago, and there were butterflies, monarch butterflies, all over the peninsula on the Soledago, or what we call goldenrod over mm -hmm. here. But a lot of the other plants, uh, that's the Soledago in the camera shot right now, and then behind that is echinacea. So anything that has that center seed head, black-eyed Susans, the coneflowers, those are all great to keep going. A lot of the asters, and you'll find a lot of these, especially in mm -hmm. some of the northern latitudes, the New England asters and things like this. And one of my favorites back here is one of the ugliest ones right now. <laughs> That's Eupatorium, also called Joe Pieweed. And they can be as tall or as four or five feet, but there are some short little guys too. But I mean, all, we saw birds here before we walked we over did. here. They were flocky, <laughs> and then we kind of scared them away. But it goes to show that as they're flying, as you're saying, they're heading to their warmer destinations. They're spotting these things and looking for a place to rest and take shelter. A absolutely. And anything that has a seed head, uh, a lot of your ornamental grasses, they're going to be great to keep out this time of year. So you, you, eventually you'll want to cut them back when mm -hmm. all that is kind of passed. But if you can, if you have some wild spaces like that, your garden doesn't have to be all neat and tidy. I like that. Have a nice little meadow area or pollinator area, way like station for these guys. Yeah, I love that it, it gives its next purpose. So exactly. first it had all the, the beauty and then now it serves as a shelter, which is a you know beauty on its own. So when do you know when it's time to cut it back? I, when the whole thing kind of browns out, that's about mm -hmm. when I would go with it. But honestly, grasses, I usually come up until it, until March. Things like the butterfly bush, oh, I'll leave until up until spring. March. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that they can have winter again, as you said, for shelter, but also for food. Yeah. You've given me a great excuse. When my neighbor, <laughs> neighbors look at me and say, oh, it's a little time to take care of that. Eva. I'm helping out the animals. Yep. Doing my duty. Don't be too tidy a gardener. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie, for helping us all out on Sunday Gardener.